In this video, I will be talking about the integration between City Engine and ArcGIS Online. So this is a really important integration because at one point it allows you to share the visualizations you have created in City Engine with other people that do not have City Engine. So everyone can have a free ArcGIS Online account and you can then share your City Engine visualizations with them that way. The other thing that's important is that the key to understanding how City Engine works when you get a bit more advanced is rules. So there is a grammar for writing these rules about how objects are visualized. And uh, these rules can be a bit um, difficult to start with. So um, you might want to start out by using other people's rules uh, in order to get your visualization running and then perhaps start editing their rules to treat them to meet your needs and then perhaps at a later stage start creating your own rules so um doing this is a um is a a, a long step and we won't be covering rules but or writing our own rules but we will covering using other people's rules so let's switch to uh, our, our city engine and um, basically what's important to note is this top in our navigating bar so we talked about this one which is basically our workspace which is on our local drive in our document folder this one is my content on um, on ArcGIS online this one is the groups I am a member of. So I can see what, let's say that the visualization course. So here I can access all the data from the visualization course. So all those different uh, groups that I'm a member of, I can access their data. And then finally, this one is all data that is publicly shared. So I have access to for some way. And here I can look for, um, for different, in this case, rule sets. But let's start out by sharing our own uh, little visualization here. In order to be able to share it, you uh, need first to select the objects you want to share. So in my case, basically all my objects are in this layer. So I can just right click on that layer and say select. So this has selected all Oh, and I could do that for other layers, so I can could also have selected objects down in this one also. Um, I won't do that. Um, I'll just stick with uh, the selected objects in this layer here. And then once I have done that, I can um, do this can be accessed lots of different ways, but in general, let's go to the export models. And we can then export them in different uh, different formats. So um, you can export them to um, to game software, or you can uh, work with them in, in Python or whatever. What we want to do is that we want to create a um, a city engine web scene from this. So we basically want to create this scene here as a web scene. So just say that's fine. We will set up some space, some parameters. You can see it will store it down in my default workspace. It will call my scene or Boulevard. It will have my models, and they will. If you can't handle models, it will fall back to that. Uh, different parameters that you might want to set, and we'll just uh, run this to begin with. What do we want to export? Basically everything. Uh, so off it goes. Once it's exported it, it will have in my uh, project, there will be this models. And this is then my exported um, model here. I, and I can right click on it and I can say share as. And by default, it will share on my ArcGIS portal. So I can just say share.
And that's it. Now it's shared to my ArcGIS portal. So if I switch over to my ArcGIS portal and do a little refresh on that, I now have my web scene here that I can uh, go into and view it. And now I have my model from City Engine in a uh, in a web scene, and I can do different things and with it and annotate it and basically share it with with um, anyone that I want to share this model with. Um, so. That's um, the ability to share, it's so it's relatively easy. Just to first export your scene, or your objects of your scene, to a web scene, and then share that on ArcGIS Online. The other thing that ArcGIS Online is really useful for is that if you go to this last one, where we have all the portals, and at the moment, you can look for different things. So you can look for everything, it's just not really useful, or feature classes, or whatever you want. But the, the one that is really interesting is to go down and say rule packages. Note, I have a little star here. So if you haven't got a star, you just press the right star and do a search on that. So, and if you know that it starts with something, just start what it starts with. So there are some of these rules that are really useful. Um, the ones I often use is this Parks Natural. So it uh, creates a Parks with Natural Vegetation uh, that is opposed to the one that is called Park Formal, which has a great formal parks with straight hedges and so on. Um, Copenhagen in architecture is very much like Paris. So um, this Paris is also an important one to work with, or I often use. Um, then there is a, uh, when we are these, if we look at the properties of it, it might be a good idea to check who uh, owns it. Um, so if you just open this, it will bring the website up and you can see if this is, so this is City Engine, so it's, the organization itself that's fine some you know it of course that could always be a theory of having some malicious code in one of these i've never he heard of it but in principle always check uh, what you download uh, so the ones i often use is as i said my park natural my park yeah we have a little preview of it my um uh, and I don't know if you can see this one is there in two versions. So probably someone has shared it again. So it's both there and uh, there. So same, perhaps same rule packages. Again, Paris is, as I said, Copenhagen architecture is quite like Paris. And uh, Park Formal. And... I also often use, where is it, international? Can't, let's have some more. Oh, there's also, I never use this one, but it's rather fun. It's having sci-fi cities. Um, this international city, um, it might be mine. I've shared it to make sure it's there. Or maybe someone else has shared it. And there's also one that's called Buildings uh, Shell of Details, which is also one I often use. But I'll show you some of these uh, rules uh, in action in a moment. But basically, once you've got them, so I'll just start out by taking our park formal, just as a demo. So we just check who this is. Uh, okay, so this is a authority one, so I can just right click on it and uh, download it. And where do I want it? So I wanted my rules, or I could 
saved in another project. But let's just put it down in rules. So we'll download this uh, rule package. Well, there's this little image of what it looks like. Um, and rules are basically the grammar, but also different assets such as trees or edges that are specific to that rule set. Um, the download can take some time, so I'll just pause it for a moment. So once your model has downloaded, you will find it in the folder where you saved it. So in my case, I have my, in my test project, I have this formal rule. Now I have a extra rule that I can apply. So um, what I'll now do is that I will, um, I will apply it to one of my objects. The easiest way to do that is basically just to take the, your rule and then drag it onto the object you want to apply it to. And now this has been applied to my, my object here. And um, you can see it has generated this uh, park. Um, and again, this one has, this park has objects just like anything else. So if I uh, check it, I can specify parameters on it. So the senses of trees and what I want to do, um, pathways, um, people, I can add the number of people, um, uh, in my part. And, um, just click out so they're not selected. And, um, you can see, um, my, um, my park along here and with my people in it with the hedgerows and so on. So that's basically the principle of, um, of applying a rule is that you can download them from RGIS online, set this one to rule package, right star. Um, there's some, uh, try and error understanding what the rules do. Not all rules are, um, are really useful, but I have mentioned the ones that I typically use and, um, and that's it. Um, so, um, I hope that you like the video and you understood so the thing about sharing that you can create your own views. So basically the thing about selecting the objects, so they are selected, right click on the layer, say select objects. Then you can do a export of your model to a web scene, and then you can share that web scene on ArcGIS Online. So people without City Engine can see your visualizations. And you can also use ArcGIS Online to access the rules that all people have created. There might be some within the organizations, or I think I have some rules here. Um, but you can also search everyone that has made them publicly available. And then you can search for a rule and um, see if you can um, use that rule. Um, often you might need to do some modifications to rules to make them exactly meet your needs, but that would be uh, outside the scope of this really short introduction. So hope you liked it. See you in another video. Bye.